Let's talk about one question I get asked in every single braid video, millions of times. Tarika, how do you get your parts so crispy and professional looking? Well, I'm here to show you. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's my layout. This bottom section, top of the ear to top of the ear, starting braiding from this top row, going down, just so I can make sure this stays nice and straight. I have this middle section coming around, split that in half just to make it easier. And also with this section, I will split this again, braiding this section here, and then connecting my front to have everything aligned and going around. And last, I have this section here that I will braid around like that. So that's my layout. And I did stretch my hair using rubber African thread because I am natural. So I banded my hair while it was still wet. Like I stated earlier, I will start braiding my hair from the middle going down. And this way my parting is straight from ear to ear and I can work my way up knowing that my parts will be straight the entire way through. And also I like to use these duck clips to help me hold my hair since one hand is holding a mirror and the other hand is parting. So it helps me get my parts straight. And also using a red tail comb. So I'll start here, go midway, remove the clip, open that up. Then I'll pin this up while I check it out to see if it's straight or not. Looks pretty straight to me. Take my red tail comb and find a spot and continue to go over. Pin the entire section up. Check it out. Look a little lopsided. Let's see what I need to fix. And then I hold it. Let's see what's up. Okay. Yeah. So like, so I need to fix it from like right there. It's a little too thick. Okay. I see where I need to fix it. It's a little thick on this end. Pin it back up and then see like right here. It needs to be thinner. Check it out. That look perfect. All right. Same thing. And because my braids are so small and I want my parts really crispy. That's why I'm pre-sectioning my hair with the individual braids per section. But of course you can skip this, just section off your hair and then braid it. Okay, so here's the bottom section, four rolls. I really wanted to take some from here and then, you know, even these two out a little bit, but I'm not. <laughs> Slight difference, but I'm gonna leave it. It's gonna be fine, right? Is it? Now I will go ahead and start braiding this row and working my way down. Actually, I'm taking some off of the top <laughs> because it's gonna bother me if I don't. And let's be honest, here's another reason why it takes me a long time to part and braid my hair. The foundation is key to having really neat braids. You know, I like my parts crispy. I love to get that professional braided look. And if that's what it takes to redo my parts a couple times, that's what it takes. But like I said, you see all these clips in my head? Yeah, use them. Make sure you have a lot of clips because that will help you. Okay, first row done. They look good. This one row right here took me like an hour and a half. No lie. So when I did this row here, I put a part down the middle. And so that I can get that brick layer effect, I'm going to put a braid in the middle right here. So I'll part. And then you see this braid is in the middle of that part. Everything else continues. And if you haven't noticed, I am just showing you how I part my hair. If you would like to see the detailed video of me doing the braids, click the link down below and I have a very detailed video showing you how I do these knotless braids. And of course, in that video, we go over the type of hair and how much hair I used. And also to let you know that this style took me four days to complete. And the most famous question is how long did I leave them in? And that was for three weeks. Okay, so this day two, this is actually a large section to work with. So I'm going to split it at the ear. And again, using my clips to help guide me through my parts. I like to pinch it to see how thick it is, if I like that or not. And I'm not gonna corn roll this row. I wanna make sure my parts are exactly how I want them first. So let's do it like this. Another tip when I am pre-sectioning my hair, I do like to grip it between my fingers to see how thick that row is. And like here it was too thick, so I'll go back and part it again and then re-grip it to see if that's how I like it. All right, so here's my layout for this section. 
Just braid it up. Okay, so to continue the brick layer effect, instead of starting this right here and having this braid on top of this braid, I will put a part right here in the middle of this bottom braid. And now start my sections. So that this braid here will be in the middle of these two and not on top. And then I'll keep going. Second row done. See how they all fall in between? Same thing for this row. Okay, so this section is done. It took me about three hours. <laughs> it took you girl about three hours for this. So I'm going to do the same thing on this quad. Part it down, pre-section my three rows, braid it up. And to section this row off, of course, I'm just going to follow these lines right across. And yes, this is my braid pattern for small knotless braids. However, you can use this method to do like some starter locks or any other type of individual braided or twist styles. All right, so here are my rows, nice and crispy, lining up, row for row. Bow, bow, bow. Now we braid. So I'll start in the middle and work my way over. And I do want to mention that I will be creating a parting series of videos. So here I have the extra small. I will also do small, medium, large, and extra large parting for individual braids. All right, done with this section here. Ciao. I did myself on this one. Mm. This right here is 14 hours. Seven and seven. Seven and seven. All right. Okay, so this top section, I went ahead and split that into two. Okay, now everything is sectioned off. One, two, three, four, five, six. So starting with this section, I'll just round it off just how I did this section. And as you can see here, I'm just completing the same steps per section. All right, this is what I have so far for this side. Okay, first row over here done. Now I was just gonna to continue to go up, but I actually think I'm going to just connect them just to make sure I have it symmetrical. Then I like to use these clips so I can check out my parts who I'm working with. One hand is holding the mirror, one hand is holding my comb. In the way that I have sectioned off my hair, it is starting to change my pattern. You see how it's starting to circle around. So it's essential to do that little gripping thing and make sure you see how much you have on each row. And I started to pre-section each row out, like just do a little mini twist so that I can make sure everything was even. All right, so now I just have the top left. So worth it. Ooh. And now all I will do is line everything up in the front. Ooh, baby. Okay, it is day four. Yeah, let's check out this progress so far. Yesterday, they look so good. If I do say so myself, you know. The stress ball right here has been getting me through. Because my hands has been cracking up. But I do this every once in a while. Both hands. And I'm good. Okay, see I put my hair in a ponytail. So that way when I line up the front, I'll be able to see where the part is coming from. Let's section this up. So here's my first row. Then from here. Second row, yeah. And that way everything will be lined up. And for real, you really don't have to pre-section your hair in the back because girl, that's the back. But the front, yeah, I always pre-section the front because I need that crispy. All right, see, I have everything sectioned out. All of the rows follow up and I'll just work my way up. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this parting pattern of mine. And I'm also curious to know if you have braided your own hair before, what's the longest it has taken? And would you do it again? For me, it was five days. And yeah, I'll do it over again and again. And I say that now because during the process, I'll be like, never again. But hey, never say never. So let me tell you, I'm using this edge control. I put it on the entire row. Now I take my hand mirror and look into my standing mirror right here behind me and section off my hair. Twist it around, double check it again, make sure it's not too big or too small. 
I like to pre-section my rows in between each section. Is that too big? A little. And also, if it's too big or too small, I can fix it without the other braids being done. I can just, you know, fix it as I go. Make sure I have enough. And I also feel like it saves time when I'm doing my braids. So I can just braid it down halfway, then move on to the next. Everything is already pre-sectioned out. My row for the braids. My hair is sectioned out over here. Then I go back and braid all of my ends. And that's how I do it. And then I just move on to the next one. And it's so small and so cute. How many more rows? I'm tired. I'm over it. I'm over it. Four. All right. Let's rock and roll. All right. Look good. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And I have section all of it out. All right, so I'm finally done with all of the braids. Oh, I love it. It feels so good. They're so small. It's perfect. 